it's Maya and welcome back to my channel. So today is my first time recording a makeup tutorial in my kind of new and improved beauty room, but I wanted to hurry up and get a fall makeup look up for you guys. This is a really good look to transition into fall from summer. It's got a pop of blue on the eyes and it just looks really good for the transitioning month. So if you guys want to see how I achieve this makeup look, then just keep on watching. So first thing I'm going to do is take my NYX Pore Filler Primer, which is my favorite primer. And I've been trying this one out with the Benefit Professional Primer, and this one I just like a lot better with my skin type. My skin type, though, what I really like about. I'm gonna put this all over my face. Now I'm gonna take my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I have to mix 355 with 330 because 345 wasn't there, which would be my perfect color. So I'm going to apply this using my Beauty Blender. Next thing I want to do is take my NARS Creamy Concealer in the color Ginger and I'm going to put this in all the places that I highlight. Now I'm going to set my concealer using the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder and this is a really good dupe for Laura Mercier if you're not ready to try that yet. I used this for a really long time and I just kind of went back to it a couple days ago since I ran out of my Laura Mercier. But it really works um, pretty well and compares very much to it. And usually while I'm baking I like to move on to my eyes. so. First thing I'm going to do is take my Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit, which is one of my favorite brow products right now. I just recently got this and I absolutely love it. going with the Benefit Cabral. And these are both in the number six. Now I'm just going to take a little bit more concealer and clean them up. I'm going to use the same concealer as a primer for my eyelid. We're not going to be doing too much color up there, so you don't need anything like extra extravagant. So, still working on the eye, I'm not going to take my Morphe 35W palette. I'm just taking a light, a super light bone colored eyeshadow and I'm just setting my eyelids. So that blending's nice and easy. I'm going to take this fluffy brown. I am taking a light brown and I'm putting this in my crease. And I'm going to take a dark purpley color and I'm going to just start building this. We're only going to use two colors for this look. So I'm going to start in the outer corner and then just blend it inwards. You just put any type of shimmery type of gold color on the rest of the open space. So we're going to move away from the eyes for now and finish the face and then we're going to go put a pop of blue in the lash line. I'm going to take my L'Oreal True Match Powder and I'm going to set the rest of my face with this. That way when I go to contour I don't get streaks on my cheeks. Next I'm going to take this Almar Contour and Blush Palette. This is my favorite color to contour with. It's kind of hard to find um, this palette is but you can always order it online. Now I like a really sharp contour, so something I like to do is take a little more powder and just have a clean sweep under this, this contour. Now I'm going to take my Artistry Exact Fit Face Powder, and this is in the color Sand. 
and I'm just gonna pat this into this powder. This is gonna set it as all and also take away that ashy look to it. I'm gonna sort of blend it into my contour. Now we're gonna contour our nose. So I'm gonna take my L'Oreal True Match Powder and this is in the color C8, so it's two shades darker than my, than my normal skin tone. So I'm just gonna go down the bridge of my nose here. Now we're gonna go refocus on the eyes. So I'm gonna add a pop of blue um, in my lower lash line. I'm gonna use my Artistry Eye Crayon in the color indigo and it's just this really pretty blue color now I'm going to take this elf loose eyeshadow in the color beachy I'm just going to set that now I'm just going to take my L'Oreal super slim eyeliner and make a thin line across the top of my lash my lash line to get ready for falsies So today for lashes, I'm going to be using the Vegas Snay and Laura Lashes in Shining Star. I'm going to set my eyebrows using, using the Rimmel Brow This Way Gel. Today for highlighter, I'm going to be using the Jeffree Star King Tut. One of my all-time favorite blushes. This is the Artisan Color Baked Blush in Warm Berry. So we're going to finish this off with the lips. And today for the lips, we're actually going to be using two lip liners and not really a lipstick. So these are Jordana lip liners. They're super inexpensive, and these are my favorite fall colors. So to line, I'm going to use uh, Cabernet, Cabernet, and then to fill them in, I'm going to use Plush Plum. Last thing I'm going to do is spray my face with some Urban Decay Setting Spray. Alright you guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys got some tips and tricks from this video and got some inspiration for some fall makeup. This is kind of a really good makeup look to transition into fall from summer. So let me know what you guys think of this video. Make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video.